when you come out here to bricks you just never know what kind of buggies you're going to run into what kind of setup you're going to run into that's american way boy ingenuity coming up with all kinds of bullshit repurposing stuff out of forklifts hell i didn't know them air hammers or them big old hydraulic hammers on an excavator use reverse cut Dana 70s in them for some reason but he swears that's where these some bitches come from I say just gave me the class isn't that a wild buggy and of course it's a lesson on packing your inventory so that you can help everybody out what did I do packed up knuckles Spindles, outer bearings, hell, I even packed up shafts. Yeah, I even packed up shafts. This was a quick trick out here at Bricks. So, deuce and a half knuckles, five ton knuckles, front shafts, rear shafts. These tubs are supposed to have their bearings and hardware in there, but what did somebody do? They didn't pack any inner bearings. So, we're at a complete standstill. Otherwise known as kind of fuck. Besides that. Do yourself a favor. If you got a Dodge truck. Put some locking hubs on there. Save some wear and tear. Get rid of your vibration. Get you about 35 horsepower. And save yourself a ton of money. And possibly something threatening. You Google the transfer case blow-ups. And the transmission blow-ups. On these newer dodges. That's from the front transfer case spinning all the time. That's what it's from. Don't believe me? Check it out yourself. Unless you're too fucking lazy. God bless you. God bless America. And happy trucking. And pack your parts. Bye. Oh. And, you know, if we had done our preventative maintenance, we probably wouldn't be... No. This gentleman here probably would not be doing wheel bearing service in the field kind of sucks thanks god he's a veteran and just happens to be a wheel mechanic